So today we are going to introduce some information about Pablo Picasso's artwork bowl. Pablo Picasso created bowl around the Christmas of 1945. Bowl is a series of eleven lithographers that have become a master class in how to develop an artwork from the academic to the abstract. In this series of images, all paled from the single stone. Picasso visually dissected the images of a bowl to discover its essential presence through a progressive analysis of its form. Each plan is a successive stage in an investigation to find the absolute spirit of the beast. To start the series, Picasso created a lively and realistic brush drawing up the bowl in an lithographer ink. These fresh and spontaneous images that lays the foundations for the developments to come. Picasso used the bowl as a metaphor throughout his artwork, but he refused to be pinned down as to its meaning. In this way, depending on its context, it has been interrupted in various ways. As a representation of the Spanish people, as a comment on fascism and brutality, as a symbol of virility or as a reflection of Picasso's self-image. At the second stage of the lithographer, Picasso bulks up the form of the bowl to increase its expressive power and achieve a more mystical presence. On the place 3, the development takes a change of direction. Picasso stops building the beast and starts to dissect the creature with lines of force that follow the contour of his muscles and the skeleton. He cuts into the form of the bowl much in the same way as the butcher who cut off the car crash. In fact, he was known to have joked with the printers about this butcher analogy. Also at this stage, Picasso introduced the use of the lithographer crayon to add more detail to the surface texture of the animal's skin. And in the plan 4, since the artists start to abstract the structure of the bowl by simplifying and outlining the major plans of its antonyma. Ten years earlier, Picasso has said that a picture used to be the sum of the additions. In my case, a picture is the sum of the destructions. In view of this statement, Lithographer seems to be the most nature choice of the media for this series of prints. One of the technique's advantages of the lithographer or other print making technology is that you can both add to and subtract from the image with reality cases. The simplification and the stylization of the image con continues on the plate 5. Picasso starts to erase sections of the bowl in order to redistribute the balance and uh, reorganize the dynamics between the form and the rail of the creature. First, he reduces its massive hand and uh, compresses its features into the small area. That was precisely the bull's forehand by enlarging the eye and uh, flattening its horns into a more lyric design. He creates a shaper focal point at the front of the animal. Next, he raises the section of the back which has the counter effect by of rising the front. He literally underlines this change with the bold white line that runs diagonally across the animal, parallel to the new angle of the back. As a counterbalance to this movement, he stretched the line that runs in the opposite direction across the middle of the body, parallel to the shoulder at the front. Picasso's process of development is like building a house of cards, where balance and the counterbalance of the individual elements is crucial to the stability of the whole. This is play 6. At this stage, another new head and tail are created to confirm the style and the direction of the developing images. Picasso introduced more curves to soften the networks of lines that crisscross the creature. And also in the play 7, as Picasso re reorganizes the balance of form in the bowl, 
he starts to remove and simplify some of the lines of construction that have served their function. He then erased the essential element that remains in the tent outline. In the plate A, continues the reduction and simplification of the images into line with another reconfiguration of the hand, legs, and tail. And while continuing to have fun with the drawing of the hand, Picasso now erases the remaining areas of Tom and finally reduces the bow to a line drawing. Only the creature's reproductive organs retain its shading in order to emphasize its gender. At this penultimate stage, the more complex areas of the line drawing are removed to leave only a few basic lines and shapes that characterize the fundamental focus and the correlation of forms. In the final print of this series, Picasso reduced the bow to a simple outline that is so carefully considered through the progressive development of each image, thus to capture the absolute essence of the creature in as conscious an image as possible.